In these experiments, we show orange streaks being formed under various conditions. In this image, you see orange streaks being formed under high potential with a flat disk at the top. This is a, a cathode ray tube. Here's the same cathode ray tube, but with the sphere at the top, and also looking down from an angle, we can still see the orange streaks from a different point of view. This is looking at the CRT from eye level. Notice the triangular pattern. And here we are looking down at an angle with low power. There's still some orange streaks being produced, but not as many. And it's also using a, a spherical top load. And here we are looking at the CRT with low power, spherical top load from eye level. Still we can see occasional orange streamers. This is a laser tube under high power with a flat disk at the top. And we notice that there are orange streamers about midway. This laser tube is on the outside edge of the upper disk. Now we move it to the center of the upper disk and we see that the orange streaks have changed positions. Everything else is identical in terms of background. And here we're using the uh, copper sphere at the top load and there's hardly any orange streaks at all. This is using high power but seen from eye level and we can also see the orange streaks at the bottom and top of the laser tube. Now this is the laser tube with uh, low power and a spherical top load and there's hardly any discharges at all. And this is the laser tube with low power at eye level and no, uh, no discharges to speak of. 